Hi, welcome back on our video lecture. So, <clears throat> after we've discussed regarding the uh, flat surfaces, now uh, let's move forward to another surface, which is the cylindrical surfaces. Okay, so flow across a uh, cylinder and exper and spheres actually is um, frequently uh, encountered in practice. Okay, for example, the uh, the tubes in a shell and tube heat exchanger involve um, actually both internal flow and external flow over the tubes. And both flows must be considered in the analysis of heat exchanger. So, um, cross flow over a cylinder exhibits complex patterns. Uh, like, say we have this top view of our uh, cylinder. So, the... Uh, and say this is the illustration of our uh, um, flow. Okay, so the cross flow over this um, cylinder exhibits complex flow patterns as we seen in this figure. So the fluid approaching these um, cylinder branches branches out and encircles the cylinder, right? So from here, it branches out and encircles the cylinder, forming a uh, boundary layer that wraps around the cylinder. Okay, so the fluid uh, particles on the mid plate, this mid plate, strike the cylinder at the uh, stagnation point and bringing the fluid to um, a complete stop and thus uh, raising the pressure at that point. Okay, the pressure decreases in the flow direction while the fluid velocity increases. Okay, so the detail of the velocity profile can be um, seen and illustrated. Say this is our um, uh, um, cylinder. And we can see the detail of the velocity profile of this uh, fluid flow. Say from this point, so from a no slip condition, from zero, it will actually create a... Um, velocity profile that looks like this okay at different um, uh, point of surface of this uh, point of contact I mean uh, different points of this um, cylinder or cylindrical surfaces okay so at this point, you can notice a velocity profile that looks like this. And at this, uh, maybe at this uh, point, you can now see that the velocity profile will um, somewhat became um, like this. Okay, so say this is our uh, flow, say this is our uh, flow from here, to here, and, okay, okay, you can notice a, um, uh, separation point from here in a flow reversal flow reversal you can notice a uh, flow reversal at this juncture or at this moment okay so what else so this is what happened if we have a uh, cylindrical surfaces in uh, external flows okay so um, 
since uh, we are considering these uh, cylindrical surfaces, there are also things that um, we need to uh, study under these surfaces. Important uh, things like um, this one, right? Like the Reynolds number. So the uh, characteristic length, LC, for a uh, circular, uh, for a uh, circular, I mean uh, cylinder, um, is taken to be uh, equal to the diameter of this um, of this cylinder. Okay, thus the Reynolds number can be defined as uh, this one. Okay, the um, the um, upstream velocity multiplied by the diameter and divided by the kinematic viscosity of the fluid. Okay, so last time. In uh, flat surfaces, the characteristic length, this one, and we have this formula. So instead of uh, um, instead of having this LC, actually this is the characteristic length, the characteristic length. Um, when we have a, a, a cylindrical surface is actually equal to d or the diameter of the cylinder that's why in our equation we can see this um, type of uh, equation yeah we can see the um, the that the characteristic length is equal to d right so another one is that the critical reynolds number for uh, flow across the uh, cylindrical circular uh, cylinder is about Re is about 2 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, that is the boundary layer remains in laminar for meaning uh, the boundary layer remains um, laminar for about uh, Re this is less than or equal to the critical Re Re critical right. This is our uh, um, base point. Okay. If Re is less than the value of our critical Reynolds number, then we have a laminar flow. And it became uh, turbulent if our Re is greater than the um, critical, this value. Okay. So what else? So aside from the um, uh, Reynolds number, uh, another important um, thing that we must um uh, studied regarding this cylindrical surfaces is the what we call the Hilpert equation.